Hi, my name is Ben Cooper, and I'm the Vice President of Student Life for Student Senate. Um, the book that I chose to read was called A Leader's Legacy by Kuz and Posner. Um, this is a book that, um, well, actually, I, I actually had the unique opportunity to meet Barry Posner um, when he came. This would be last November, or November of 2007. Um, this was a part of the Adams Academy. Um, the Donald V. Adams Leadership Institute actually hosted him for one of the workshops that they had, and he came to, to speak, and I was able to, to listen to him, and then ultimately I, I had dinner with him. So it was just kind of a, a unique opportunity for me to kind of take advantage of one of his works that he, writ, that he wrote about. Um, in the Donald B. Adams Leadership Institute, we talked about um, the Leadership Challenge, which is his second book that he has. Um, you can also find this in the Coles Library. Um, but this is something that you will learn more about, the, the Leadership Challenge and the five, um, the five principles of leadership. You're going to learn more about that if you go through the Emerging Leader um, Elm the Emerging Leader, um, and also the Adams Academy. You'll learn more about that. But um, essentially this book, there's 21 essays in it. They're essays that are separate but yet unrelated. Um, and it, it, it describes kind of the enduring impact of, of a leader. And um, there's a lot of research that, that this book kind of pulls from, about two, dec about two decades worth full of, I guess, research and interviews of CEOs, people in business, um, student leaders, um, just people from all walks of life. And they uh, did a bunch of interviews, and they kind of compiled some, or 21 very similar yet unrelated uh, things. And, you know, this book will inspire you to become a better leader. Um, it's pretty short, 200 pages. It's a short read, um, very compelling. Um, and I'm actually going to read to you a quick excerpt from the book, um, which I think kind of captures a little bit about what it's about. Um, it, it captures the flavor of the book. Um, and it goes like this. You can leave a lasting legacy only if you can imagine a brighter future. And the capacity to imagine exciting future possibilities is the defining competence of leaders. Today's leaders have to be concerned about tomorrow's world and those who will inherit it. They are the custodians of the future, and it's their job to make sure that they leave their organization in a better shape than they found them. Um, they've surveyed thousands of people on what they want in leaders, and they tell us that being forward-thinking is second only to honesty um, as their most admired leader quality. Get everyone involved in asking, what's next? Another crucial question is, What's better? What's better than what you're now doing or anticipate doing in the foreseeable future? It's imperative that we spend less time on daily operations and more time on future possibilities. So that's a little excerpt from the book. I think it, it does capture um, an essence of, of the book. Um, it's definitely something that I think that you know any student, um, including, I mean, you don't have to be a leader on campus to read that book something that you should read. It's definitely going to challenge your beliefs and morals. Um, it definitely challenged mine. Uh, you know, it, it made me think about the last time, you know, one of my values was questioned and how I was resolute in, in I guess, how I was resolute in the, in the face of resistance. And I had, I, I definitely had several RPMs, which um, if you read the book, you'll learn more about. But um, it definitely is something that I would highly recommend for any student um, on Drake's campus. Um, it's a quick read. I think you'll learn a lot from it. And um, yeah, it's a great book. Leader's Legacy, um, Kuz and Posner, read it. Great book. Um, once again, my name is Ben Cooper, and I approve this message.